bok choy is a mighty good eating vegetable and uh, it's kind of fun to grow in a container because it keeps it up off the ground and it grows quick and we don't want it to get real big. We get the um, what they call the baby bok choy, which will get about that high. So let's be right back and we'll get started on that process. Well, today we're going to talk about um, growing bok choy in containers, and I want to share with you a few of the things that I watch out for when I'm growing my bok choy. That so maybe you want to um, pick up a tip or two out of it while we're working on it. I start my container um, bok choy from seed, so I use these little starter cups, and as you can see, they're not very big. And when I put my seed in here. Well, let's let's say this is the the container right here i put my seed in right here and i cover it up with the soil and when that seed starts to finally grow some roots and gets itself a nice little root ball and you'll see the stem emerge and that stem will get kind of long to the point where you think oh no my my bok choy is leggy, but it's not really leggy. It's developing a long stem, and up here you'll see the little coddling leaves come out. The way up long, that's okay. Sometimes these long stems will even lay over. They'll lay over crooked, sort of like, like that. So I only put one seed per cup. And the reason is, is this long stem right here, if I have two two seeds in here, they get tangled up and it's very difficult to get out. Even in a four pack like this, I'll have four uh, bok choys coming up. And when I'm taking those little starter plants out of here to transplant them, I have to be very careful because that long stem tangles up with the other stems and you can damage it. The stem is the tricky part of these bok choys. All right, let's say we got our bok choy growing we got the nice stems. We come out to the, to the grow table and get our three gallon containers. And I push my, my um, starter plant out of here. When I have my soil level in here, one of the things I add into here is blood meal because I want a lot of high nitrogen because I want to get a lot of um, leaf growth up here. So I put a little bit of blood meal in the mix. And when I dig the hole, I dig the hole kind of deep, deeper than I normally would, and I'll take this little starter root ball will come out of like a little cup like that with all the little roots all in here. And then I have that long stem, and then you'll see the coddlin leaves way up here. So see how deep that I plant that? I put that root ball way down. I very carefully stretch that stem out to where it's nice and straight. And then I cover it up because when this plant matures later, that stem, it'll start to get the big old leaves like this, right? It develops like that. And it comes out from one node right there, sort of like a stalk of celery. So you'll have one spot right here that all these leaves come out away from. And if I have this root ball from the starter plant way up here, this, this stem will lay over and you'll grow it out crooked. So I like to bury the little plant deep, stretch out the stem just above the soil level, then pack it in. So when that plant matures, it's got plenty of room to grow and it'll be straight. Now, when I get ready to harvest, I go out and I pull over to the bok choy and you'll see the stems on the bok choy. They grow up like this in that leaf and comes out with the veins. You'll see this part of the stem right here and each leaf, it'll be real white. 
Now, when you see that thing turn white right there, it's good. It's ready to harvest. So how you harvest this is you come and you pull back on the plant just a little bit. You don't have to pull the whole thing out of the bucket. Just pull it up enough to where you can see the stem down below, just enough to get your knife blade in here and cut it right there. And you can cut it right there and take the whole thing off. That way you don't get a bunch of dirt all slung up into the, into the bok choy and growing it in a container keeps them pretty clean. But if you harvest it carefully, just by pulling this back enough to see the big stem, then cut that stem, you've got yourself a good plant. So let's, um, let's get the process started on our bok choys. We're gonna follow the progression of these guys from the planting of the seed all the way until I pull it back and cut that stem with the knife and Nancy makes me some soup. Well, let's get going. Here's our bok choy and these four, these four um, cups here. All this down here is cabbage, but this right here is the bok choy and you can see they're growing along real well. And um, in, a, in a couple of more weeks, these are rapid growers as well. In a couple of more weeks, we'll go out there and we'll transplant these into containers. Um, we want to grow these bok choy for their entire lifespan in the container so that um, they're easy to maintain and easy to harvest. So um, we'll be back in a few, you know, probably a couple of weeks and we'll go outside and we'll transplant these into the containers and get them ready to um, grow on the table. So we'll see you back in a couple of weeks. Well, good morning. Our bok choy has grown quite a bit and it's ready to uh, bring outside and you can take a look at it real quick. These plants have really matured rapidly they're they're fast growers so what i'm going to do is i'm going to put these out on a hardening table and let them harden for about two or three days and as soon as i get them hardened off then we'll transplant them out into the containers so we'll see you back in about three days okay. our bok choy is ready to plant into the containers to be placed out up on the grow table so they'll spend the remainder of, the, of their life out on the grow table until we harvest them because these are going to be container grown bok choy but if you want to come up and take a look at how pretty the plants came out they, they're really rapid growers very good nancy makes a real good kimchi out of these so this is something for nancy what i'm going to do is i'm going to pick out eight of the very best and make eight container plants out of them and um, gonna, I'm gonna add blood meal to the container the reason I'm adding blown meal, uh, blood meal is it it'll give a little extra nitrogen to this soil which will um, enhance leaf development because this is a plant where we eat the leaves okay so let me get, add about I put about two tablespoons in each container. Then I'm going to water that in. And I like to water these in heavily and saturate it because the, the soil is very dry and if I if I let this uh, fill this to, to the point where it's standing in water it'll seep down through and give a real good soaking on that uh, fresh soil down there especially since it has a lot of peat in it that'll get it good and pliable and good and wet so when I transplant these bok choy in here the roots won't go into as bad of a root shock if I pre-soak the pots it also dissolves that nitrogen a lot faster for me so let me show you how i fill one pot up all the way up and let that soak all the way down so it can uh, saturate that soil and get it good and moist so i'll be back in just a minute or two after I get the rest of these watered in. Okay, I've got the uh, 
the pot's watered well the water has soaked down through has saturated the, the water column has saturated the entire pot so this pot's good to go now the, what I want to do is pick out the eight of the best plants that I have to use as my containers first thing I want to do is dig a little hole right here just about the same size can you see that it's just about the same size as the um, root ball of the plant that I'm going to put in there see there okay you want to take these out very carefully you push up on the bottom of the cup and you push that root ball up see the root ball coming up and these bok choy they tend to tangle up so you got to be very careful when you're pulling out one you may think you're pulling out the one that you want it might actually be the one next to it so once you get a hold of that root ball you need to untangle it from his brothers and sisters in there and it looks like I'm gonna have to take out all of them instead of trying to do one take them all out and then I can untangle and of course you're gonna break a few leaves Now I have all four out. Okay. There we go. That was the hardest part. Now I put it down in here and I cover it. You see how these bok choy, they have a long skinny root. See that long skinny root? And then it comes over and it makes a burst of uh, plant. See that long skinny root? What I do is get that whole root buried in the pot so that it has some support up to here. If not, it'll be leggy and the wind will catch it and tears them up. So see how I got that one in? I got that long root down underneath there and I, and I cover around it and tuck him in real good so see now he's kind of supported better and I broke a couple of leaves getting him in there but these things are rapid growers they'll grow those little leaves back real quick so it ain't the end of the world if you break off a couple so that one's ready so let me uh, get the rest of them put in the pot and we'll put them up on the grow table and water them in back in a minute okay Nancy said I need to show you this one more time because it was a little confusing you see these bok choy you see how they grow a long stem they come out of the seed they do their root ball they grow a long stem and then they expand out and make the different leaves at that leaf node right there it'll go out into multiple leaf a multiple leaf bank and eventually those will grow up and make the bok choy real pretty but see how it's got that long stem I want to dig this hole deep enough see how I got the hole deep enough that I can take the root ball and this long stem all the way down in there because if I don't the wind will catch a hold of this plant and to keep um, juggling it back and forth in that wind and eventually it'll crack it and break it so if you can get that plant down in there deeper and get that stem captured in the hole then put the soil around it that now your bok choy is well supported you can look close to this see how well supported it is now all the way up you can see in there it is all the way up to that node and the leaves have room to grow now without the wind breaking them okay let me get the rest of them done well I went ahead and planted four extras just to make sure I got enough for my mother-in-law Mama didn't raise no dummy.
<laughs> we got 12 of them put in. They're set. We'll be back in a few weeks ahead and we'll watch the progression of these up until we harvest. So we'll see you soon. Well, our bok choy has been growing for two weeks now but since we planted it into the little containers. And as you can see, it's really going good. If you can see those white stems in there, that's a real good sign. These are, uh, these are about a week away from harvest. These are the, uh, the baby bok choy, so they don't get the, the real big bok choy. They'll get, um, instead of the real big ones like you're seeing, these are the babies, they're about this big. Not much bigger than what they are right now. So we'll come back in about a week and uh, Nancy will harvest some of this and she, she makes a pretty good kimchi with it. And uh, I, I like it in soup. She makes a real good soup with it too. So this is a good vegetable if you haven't ever tried it. They work great in containers. They're, they're very easy and fast growers and they're easy to grow in containers. So um, they stay pretty clean. So they're not full of grit and dirt and sand whenever you harvest them, they're, they're pretty clean. So we'll be back in about a week and take another look at them. It's a cold, kind of cold for a spring day. It's 51 degrees and, and rainy. So it's not the best of conditions, but I tell you one thing it's perfect for, bok choy soup. I love that stuff. Nancy makes it and it's on a cool day like this and man, it'll melt in your mouth. And just so happens our bok choy is ready to harvest. And if you look real close, like right here at this one, you see how white the stems are? When you see your stalks on your bok choy get nice and white like that, man, them, them babies are ready. And they're a good size and they're ready to go. So let's um, pull one out and uh, I'm gonna, it only takes one bok choy to make a big old load of soup. So let's take one out and go over to the processing table and I'll show you how to pull it up and cut that stem. And then Nancy go make some soup. Be over at the processing table. Well, here's our bok choy. It's over here. Beautiful specimen. If you look right uh, down here, I'm going to show you how I'm going to pull back on this plant and cut that stem. So let's uh, get this thing harvested so I can eat. So come on up close and take a real close look at how I do this. All right, I pull back on the plant and I expose that stem. Remember that stem? There it is right there. And all I do is cut right through it. And there is what that stem looks like underneath. And there we are. Beautiful bok choy. I'm going to clean this up a little bit and give it to Nancy and uh, let her do her thing with the soup. So I really appreciate you watching. We love all of y'all. And if you like our, um, our videos, please subscribe to our channel. Be a part of our YouTube family. You can also follow us on Facebook if you wanted them Facebook folks. We like that social media as well. So if you'll excuse me, I'm gonna go eat some soup. So until we see you next time, always remember, by his hands, we are fed. Give us Lord our daily bread. Amen. Have a blessed day. Thanks for watching our videos. We really love making them. If you like our videos, please like our Facebook page to get the latest tips and tricks. Please subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the newest video. Like it. It would really inspire and encourage us. But most importantly, share it to encourage others. We we'll welcome your comments and questions. Thank you. Have a blessed day.